Welcome back everyone. In this video, let's learn how to set up the next auth library with GitHub as an auth provider. Now to get us started, I've created a brand new Next.js project called Next Auth using create next app. And I've also added some code. You can find the code on my GitHub repo, but let me walk you through what I have added. Within the project folder, we have a components folder with two files, navbar.js and navbar.css. As the name indicates, this component is for the navbar in our application with links to home, dashboard, blog, sign in and sign out. The CSS file contains the styling for the navbar. Now I've kept it simple by not using CSS modules. So I had to import the file in underscore app.js where we have the navbar as part of the page layout. Apart from this navbar component, I've also added two pages, dashboard.js and blog.js. Both of them are simple pages that just return an h1 tag. If you take a look at the browser, you should see the navbar and the different pages, dashboard and blog. All right, let's now head back to VS Code and set up the next auth package. Step one, install the package. So in the terminal, run the command yarn add next hyphen auth. Now, since the package name is the same as our project name, I'm going to change name to next authentication and then install the package. Once the command completes, we can configure next auth with a GitHub auth provider. And there is a convention to this. So for step two, in the API folder, create a new folder called auth. Within this folder, we need to create a catch all route. So square brackets, dot, 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 and the file name is next auth with an extension dot js. Within the file, we are going to import two things. The next auth library itself. So import next auth from next auth. And we also import providers from next auth slash providers. Next, we're going to default export next auth passing in a configuration object. So export default next auth. We pass in an object. The object accepts several keys out of which providers is one of them. It refers to the services that can be used to sign in a user. Since you can configure multiple services, this property is an array. For our example though, we will take a look at only GitHub as a provider. So within the array, providers dot GitHub, and we add parentheses. Now this in turn accepts an object with the client ID and the client secret. Now these are values generated on a GitHub app. So let's head over to GitHub and learn how to create a GitHub OAuth app. For step three, log in to your GitHub account. Click on your profile icon and then settings. In the side nav, click on developer settings and then click on OAuth apps. Now click on register a new application. Here we need to fill a few details. The app name can be next auth and the homepage URL can be HTTP localhost port 3000 and the callback can also be the same. So copy and paste it. Now click on register application. 
Once the app is created, we can get hold of the client ID and generate a client secret. Now these are something you don't want to have committed in the repo. So we are going to add them as environment variables. For step four, head back to VS Code and create a .env.local file in your project root. Within the file, add two entries for GitHub ID and GitHub secret. The GitHub ID is the client ID. And the GitHub secret is the client secret. Once you fill in the values, go back to nextauth.js and set the values to process.env dot github underscore id and similarly client secret is process dot env dot github underscore secret and that pretty much is our next auth setup let's restart the server and head back to the browser to verify if this works as expected to sign in we need to navigate to localhost 3000 slash api slash auth slash sign in and when we do that you can see the sign in with github button and this entire ui is presented by the next auth package you could customize this by providing your own sign in page but the built-in ui works for now click on sign in and you'll be asked to accept the permission request when you approve you'll be redirected to the home page. And the way we verify if we have signed in is by taking a look at cookies. You can see here, there is a next auth session token, which is a JWT used by next auth package for authentication purpose. To sign out, we can navigate to localhost 3000 slash API slash auth slash sign out. Once again, we have a built-in UI for the sign out route. Click on sign out and the session token is removed from the cookies and we are redirected back to the home page. So our authentication with GitHub as a provider is working as expected. Now, although what we have so far is great, we can't expect the user to enter the URL to sign in or sign out. So in the next video, let's see how to sign in and sign out using the buttons in the nav bar. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.